Good morning from Scarborough. Admittedly, it is pretty late. We got a slow start to the day, which felt very nice to sleep in. I was also able to get us our arrival cards for Singapore. You have to do that within three days of arrival, so I had to wait until this morning to do it. Super easy process. I'll explain more when we're on our way to Singapore. But today we're gonna be sharing our first impressions of Perth because we haven't been there yet. We just flew in and then went right to Fremantle. So today we're heading into the city. We're gonna get some breakfast and then walk around and see what it's like. We're at lot 60 for breakfast this morning and I'm really excited. There's a lot of blue free options. Matcha! I literally got two meals. <laughs> I got the breakfast Benedict that looks delicious. And I got the banana caramelized pancakes. So excited. KJ has a heaping plate of breakfast in front of them. I think it was called the Big Breakfast. The Big Breakfast should be called Huge Breakfast. They didn't have any home fries so switched out for french fries instead. Hello. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> wow. I put just like King's Park in Botanical Garden in the Uber and it just took us to the middle of the park. Like just popped us in the middle. There was nothing around. We were like, can you just drop us off back there? So I think over there looks pretty. Yeah, definitely. Want to just walk over there? Yeah. Our first stop today is the King's Park Botanic Garden. We decided to Uber because the bus was not tricky to figure out, but we got on it at one point and we were trying to pay, and the bus driver was like, sorry, we only take the smart rider cards or cash. We were like, okay, well, we don't have a smart rider card, so here's cash. And then he was like, it has to be exact change. We didn't have exact change. So we had to get off the bus, and we Ubered here. But the smart rider cards you can get, but you have to get them at certain stations. So to even get to that station, we'd have to take the bus. So it was just kind of a mess, but we figured it out and we got here, and that's what matters. Also, minor correction, it's Kings Park and Botanic Garden. I don't think it's that big of a deal, but that's the proper name for it. This kind of goes for Australia as a whole, but they do public bathrooms very well. They're free, pretty clean for as far as public bathrooms go, and you can find them all over cities and in the Botanic Gardens for this example. So it's not necessarily just a first impressions of Perth at this point, but I wanted to point it out because a lot of cities either don't have public restrooms in other countries or you have to pay for them or they're not clean, so Australia does them very well. And they come in clutch because you have to drink a lot of water to combat the heat here, so we've been very hydrated this trip. The weather in Western Australia has been absolutely immaculate. It's like 70 and sunny today. I took the UV earlier, it was like a nine, so that's still strong, we're wearing sunscreen, but like it's comfortable and there's a strong breeze. As you saw yesterday with the ferry, it was like a little bit too strong of a breeze. Oh, oh I felt that in my stomach. <laughs> but wow, this is ideal weather. And the humidity is probably there, but it feels very minimal especially compared to Townsville or Sydney like we were a couple weeks ago. So you don't feel like sweaty or wet. <laughs> And there are some great viewpoints overlooking the city and the water is absolutely beautiful out today. It is a Saturday, so everybody's out and about having picnics, riding their bikes, running, walking around the park. It is definitely a good place to be on a beautiful day like today. 30 minute walk from the Botanical Gardens later, we have made it down to Elizabeth Key. It is absolutely beautiful down here. The wind is blowing nicely and it is cooling off our sweat very well. Nicely, but a little bit crazy. <laughs> True. The hair is going a little nutty. That's so refreshing. New city, new bubble tea. This is the first impressions of Perth, but really the first impressions of bubble tea. Made it back. Perth, so far, so good. Really nice. Not a whole lot to do in the city, but it was still good to walk around. Like we said, the weather was great. But I think it's time for us to spend a little bit of time at the beach, considering this is our last full day of adventuring here in Australia, because tomorrow is kind of the start to our travel day, leaving Australia, going to Singapore, and then eventually coming home. So we gotta enjoy the weather while we can.
We spent the night watching the sunset over the ocean, eating some dinner. Food was okay, but the sunset was amazing. It was an awesome golden glow. We have made it back. We have showered, feeling much fresher now. Packing up our stuff, because sadly tomorrow we have to go to a different hotel at the airport because we're leaving Australia in two days. So sad. Big sad. But for now, we have to wrap up our first impressions of Perth. So, oh, yeah. that being said, what do we think? I wish we had more time here. Mm. I feel like the vibes here have been really chill and like there's a lot of kite surfers and everyone's just kind of like hanging out, having a picnic, mm. having a drink, like on the, it was just cute, like watching the sunset. I wish we could do that like every night. Absolutely, especially over the ocean. Yeah. That was really cool, it was really pretty to see. The city was gorgeous. Mm. It was like pretty to have the water there and then mm. all the tall buildings. I don't know if there was that much to do like in the city. Mm, yeah, I think I think it was, I don't know, like for sure, but it felt like a smaller city than Melbourne and Sydney. I wish we hit more beaches too. Mm. I've heard they're gorgeous, but I mean, the one we're right at is pretty. Yeah. It's a little bit windy. <laughs> it's a bit windy. I think, I think Perth too, like this area, like Perth is a good little base, but like all a bunch of the surrounding area is like kind of like where it's at. Um, like Fremantle was awesome. Yeah. We could totally spend more time there. Uh, we're in Scarborough, right on the beach, which is great because we're right on the beach. And then I know Western Australia as a whole just has so much beautiful stuff. It's a humongous state. Like it's hours and hours to drive either way. But maybe next time we'd come back, we'll hit something like that. So, Definitely. Yeah. And I the think. weather was awesome. But yeah, overall Perth. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Heaven would not say it was a bad place by any means. So Good vibes. highly recommend, but we will uh, see you tomorrow when we go to one last place here. Good night. Good night. The weather has also been absolutely immaculate. It's like- Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know. Right. Had some dinner. It was absolutely awesome. We hung out at the- Was it? At the beach? The dinner. Dinner wasn't awesome, but the oh, beach was. We, we had some dinner. It was absolutely awesome. Oh, all right. Well, let me restart that then.